In this video, we will walk through the steps required to upgrade InterSystems Iris Data Platform, InterSystems Iris for Health, or HealthShare Health Connect, from a version that uses the InterSystems private web server to a version that uses an industry standard web server independent from the instance. We will show this process using InterSystems Iris in an Ubuntu environment. The same process can be followed for the other products and on any Linux or Unix based operating system. In this example, we currently have three instances of InterSystems Iris running, Mirror 1 and Mirror 2, which are a failover pair, and an async Mirror member. This is a typical configuration for a mirrored setup. Our current instances each use a private web server that was installed with the instance. In the management portal, you can see that the URLs specify the locations and ports used by these instances. Once we upgrade and start using a local web server, these URLs will look slightly different. For the web server, Apache should be used on Linux operating systems so that the web server can automatically be configured on upgrade. The web server must be installed first, followed by the upgrade of the InterSystems product. To install the web server, run the Apache install script. Note that depending on your operating system, this script will call slightly different commands to install the web server. If you are running your instances on Red Hat Linux, SE Linux should be enabled in enforcing mode. You will not need to make any additional configurations for SE Linux. Now that you have an up-to-date web server installed, you can perform the product upgrade. In this example, InterSystems Iris. Upgrade each instance, starting with a backup mirror member. Refer to InterSystems documentation for more information on mirror upgrade procedures. First, stop your instance. Then from the command line, run the InterSystems Iris installer. You will be prompted for the instance name. Entering the name of the existing instance allows you to perform an upgrade. For configuration settings, keep the same values as the previous version. The installer also checks if there is an Apache instance installed locally in the default location. Since we have already installed Apache in this example, we will be asked if we would like to use this web server to connect to the installation. If you did not previously complete the Apache installation and the installer does not find a web server, it will warn you that no local web server was found and ask you if you would like to abort the installation. In this case, you can either abort the installation and install a web server before starting again, or you can complete the installation and configure a web server manually later. It is recommended that you allow the installer to automatically configure the web server, unless you're using a central web server that is not local to the instance installation. In that case, manual configuration is required. If you have a web server installed, enter yes, and the installation proceeds. Note that the installer is configuring the web server as part of the installation. This step disables the private web server, but does not delete it. You can re-enable the private web server in the future if necessary. After installation, the installer provides the URL for the management portal. Open the management portal to confirm that the web server was configured correctly. Note that this URL no longer includes a port number, since all instances use the same external web server. For any instance that does not use the private web server, the structure of the management portal URL is now http colon slash slash server slash instance name slash csp slash sys slash util home dot csp. Repeat this process for the two other instances. For more information about this process, as well as steps to migrate custom configurations from the private web server to your new web server, visit docs.intersystems.com.